Hi guys and welcome to Safe Diving. Um, so in today's video we're going to be taking a closer look at what I keep in my thigh pockets. Now scuba diving is one of those amazing sports in the fact that I can literally upload a video that says what's in my pockets and people will actually click on it. Um, I wager that you can do that for any other sport, just upload a video of what you keep in your pockets and people will actually click to, uh, to view it. But for scuba diving it's actually quite interesting. Now storage for scuba divers is either going to be in kind of pockets on your BCD, which I've never been a huge fan of because they tend to be up here on your rib cage and that's really not that practical. You can get some butt pouches that kind of clip to D-rings behind in like the small of your back, which are fine. Um, sometimes I do use a uh, butt pouch to keep some stuff in but that's primarily made for sort of overhead environments and uh, sort of side mount diving uh, but personally I prefer thigh pockets. Now thigh pockets weren't really a thing when I uh, sort of first started scuba diving and uh, it wasn't until kind of a few years later that they started to become a bit more popular um, and my second dry suit had, um, had thigh pockets on it but my first one definitely didn't. But now, after the past probably about two years, actual thigh pockets and kind of holstered shorts are actually becoming a big thing. And this is why I have one camera pointed at my face and another camera kind of pointed at my crotch, which is a bit unusual for me, um, but it's going to help you guys see what's inside my thigh pockets. So, um, so yeah, there is um, a few different sort of ways of kind of keeping things in pockets and kind of where you keep them. Um, there was a sort of an old fashioned way of doing it where you had one slim line and then one bulky pocket. Um, but I'm just gonna go over the ways that I like to do it personally. Um, and then yeah, you can do your own research and sort of figure out what to uh, sort of bring with you. Now this is pretty much what I have. This is fairly heavily laden with stuff. Um, if I'm going on a slightly different dive with a specific objective, then the contents might change. Um, I might sort of add a tool or take something out. It kind of depends on the dive, but this is a good sort of all-rounder um, that I'd be quite happy diving with um, yeah, on any dive. Um, so let's dive in and see what I keep inside my pockets. Okay, so the way that I like to keep stuff in my pockets is that I have kind of, on my right hand side, it's kind of stuff for my emergencies, um, just in case. And then on my left hand side, it's just kind of anything that I think I might need for that dive, uh, which is usually just a large DSMB and a spool. So um, taking a look at my left side pocket first. So this is on my left thigh. Um, now these are quite handy in that they have a, um, a pocket on the lid of the pouch here. Um, so you don't have to actually get into it. You've got this little um, sort of zip and pocket. Now inside here I'll have two things. I'll have a pair of cutting shears. Um, now everything is going to be attached onto a bolt snap, a, a double ender if there's um, not a single ender on it. And a pair of cutting shears are, um, I just like them because one, they're really, really inexpensive. So if the steel ever does kind of rust and it goes nasty, then they're really easy to, uh, to replace. But actually they're nice and safe, they're very quick and easy, and um, you get a decent control over them. So, um, so yeah, I always like to uh, sort of keep a pair of those with me and then sort of clipped off onto a, uh, a double ender that's attached onto this sort of bungee leash that, um, that sits inside of the pocket. And um, there'll also be a, a little identification card. Um, so this has just got my um, sort of, basically it's from my Dan Insurance. Um, it's an old expired car card, but the, uh, the details are all the same, obviously. Um, just in case, um, I'd rather if um, I sort of washed up somewhere and I was unconscious, someone would be able to identify me as easily as possible. So that just makes life a bit easier. Actually inside the pocket, um, there's not going to be a great deal, there's just going to be my um, my primary DSMB and the spool and, um, and that's attached onto another leash on the inside. You get these leashes, um, these sort of sections of bungee that um, just allow you to clip things off onto them. So basically when you open the pocket, um, if you're rummaging around trying to get something, which will be especially obvious on my, uh, my right hand side, things aren't going to fall out and you're not going to lose them. 
So inside this one, I have my uh, my DSMB and my uh, and my spool. Um, they're attached together on a, a double ender, but then of course that's not how I'm going to use it. But um, but yeah, that um, that way they're just they're together, so that when I um, when I want to deploy it, I can just sort of undo that one bolt snap, and um, and it's free. So they stow away nice and easily, um, just in case I don't need to um, to use them. And then I'll clip that off onto one of the bungees and then stow that away nice and neatly. Okay, so now onto my right hand side. So on the right hand side, this is a bit more of the kind of the emergency, the, um, the kind of the backups and the spares. So this is for if something goes wrong. Um, so yeah, and I think where this mainly comes from is uh, if you're diving with a DPV and that's in your right hand. Um, so normally for most of the stuff that you'll be doing, um, you're using your left hand to sort of control your buoyancy and to sort of sort out whatever in your left hand. But if there's an issue, then you'll be putting that uh, sort of DPV down and then you'll be uh, sort of going to this pocket but um, for whatever reason yeah I tend to put a lot of my spares in my right hand side so in the top in the lid here so in that zippered section in the forward section I'll have a cutting device um, so this is just a small titanium knife um, this is kind of a lock knife and um, yeah, that's just nice and neat so that way it doesn't have a sheath, it doesn't have any sort of extra complicated bits. Um, it's titanium so I never have to worry about um, uh, it's sort of rusting up or washing it too thoroughly. And it has this single ender on it uh, so I can clip it off to that, um, that leash at the front really easily. And um, even if I'm not using that, as you can see, it, uh, it doesn't go very far. Um, on the back one, I'll have a second uh, sort of bolt snap, a double ender. So this is my, just in case, this is my backup double ender. If I drop one um, or if I need to um, sort of whatever, I have a double ender. And that's why you'll see it's got this sort of identification on it. So I just put this sort of black band on it, just so that if I am attaching it to someone else's gear for whatever reason, there's no kind of quibbles, there's no arguments afterwards. This is my double ender and um, I get that back at the end of the day. So I always like to um, keep a, a double ender on me. I call that one Sean because I know that Sean loves a good double ender. And then on the inside, uh, the first thing that I'll note is that my uh, my notebook is missing because I can't find it. It's literally missing somewhere in my house. So. Um, yeah, that would normally go sort of flat against, if you can see there, I've got a kind of second um, sort of flat section right up against my leg. That's normally where my notebook would be, um, or some kind of slate, some kind of writing device. Um, but yeah, I couldn't find that today, but that's normally where that goes. On the back D-ring, I'll have a, um, a backup spool and a backup DSMB. Um, the spool, just for whatever reason, if I drop my spool or if I need to um, sort of attach this onto something. A uh, second DSMB, this is normally my small compact DC, uh, DSMB because it takes up less space in my pocket. But for whatever reason, if I need to attach this onto an item um, to uh, sort of locate it later, or um, if, I, if I lose my primary DSMB, at least I still have one with me. So um, yeah, I always keep a spare because you never know something, the worst will happen. That's like Murphy's Law or something. So um, yeah, just if I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. On the front, I have my backup mask. Again, attached onto a double ender. Um, I'll actually take it off the leash. And um, so yeah, so this, it, uh, it kind of neatly wraps up a bit of that uh, mask strap because that can get a bit messy on the inside of your pocket, especially if you're uh, sort of rummaging around. The last thing you want is things to be sort of tucked in around your, um, your mask strap. So the double ender just sort of attaches onto that. And um, yeah, my backup mask is uh, is nothing special, but um, yeah, it's, it'll get you out of dodge. And this is for myself, this is for my buddy, this is for anyone else um, sort of in the water who needs a replacement mask for whatever reason. It's always there on my right hand side, so you can uh, sort of get them out of a problem. Um, yeah, if I just throw that away really quickly. And um, yeah, that's, 
that's kind of it for my thigh pockets, especially the um, the right one. The right one doesn't get used as much as the uh, the left. The left one usually gets used on every single dive, but the uh, the right one is that kind of just in case I'd rather have that kind of spare. Okay, and that's everything that I keep inside my thigh pockets. Um, now my backup torch, that's usually on my left hand D-ring, and um, sort of anything that I'm sort of, I really want to use then and there, like my primary dive light, um, that's gonna get clipped off to my right hand shoulder D-ring. But um, yeah, there seems to be great debate on, uh, on this subject online, so uh, I'm sure I'm gonna get lots of comments down below on kind of what people keep and where. And um, yeah, there's, I've been looking through the forums trying to see how other people do it just to make my one uh, or my setup a little bit neater. Some people tend to um, bring down tools, if anything. Um, I don't really know why. Um, if you have to repair your regulator underwater, you're in serious trouble. But um, yeah, let me know what you bring down with you and how you set up your equipment and why. And um, yeah, hopefully we can get more people diving with thigh pockets, bringing spare masks especially, and um, to stop using kind of these pockets in their BCDs because I just find them very impractical. It's very hard to actually reach and, uh, and grab hold of them. And um, yeah, covering yourself in D-rings isn't the answer because then you just become that Christmas tree Jiver with uh, with stuff just hanging all over you, all of those flappy sandcastles. Whereas with this, you're nice and streamlined. Um, so yeah, if you brush up against something, it just brushes straight past you. But yeah, let me know what you keep in your pockets and where down in the comments below. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. On my channel, I upload videos on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, all about how to be a better scuba diver. Now, I've been working in and around the diving industry for quite a long time now, and I have a lot of advice that I can help you out with. So if you need any help or advice with your diving, just let me know it in the comments below and subscribe to my channel, and I'll probably make a video about it to help you out. So, if you want to, you can click here to check out one of my latest videos on how to upgrade your equipment and your diving as well, and then click here to check one of my scuba diving advice videos. Thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving.